Hi, Right Riders. Thank you so much for joining me today. Cruz here looking at um, AccuPlacer Right Placer essays. In this particular video, if you are interested in looking at what a score of a four would look like, which would be right smack in the middle of a four out of eight in AccuPlacer Right Placer, this video is for you. Again, in these videos involving AccuPlacer Right Placer, we're looking at what students created, what they did well, and how they can can improve uh, upon their essays or could have improved their essays. Because again, these are already written and these are sample essays provided um, to us by AccuPlacer Right Placer. And again, these videos are really just to sort of um, critique and um, pick them apart a little bit just to help you as a writer right before you go into the testing environment. So again, if this is something you're interested in, please feel free to keep playing this video. If not, again, I wish you happy YouTube hunting. And uh, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. America manipulates people to believe they are free to make their own choices. However, people are obligated and manipulated to make choices they do not agree with, such as in a job, college, and everyday life. Decisions come along with consequences, good or bad. It's up to the person to choose which path to take. For example, at a work area, an employee is designated duty, duties to fulfill his or her position. But it's up to them if they want to complete the job or they get laid off, which is a form of limited choices. This country runs off money. People work based on how much income they are given. You pay them more, they do more. As a student in college, in order to graduate with the degree of their choice, the student has to either has to complete a number of credits and meet all expectations. Student is left with either one of or two choices. Complete all assignments or fail out of school and have a minimum wage job. Majority of the people refuse to settle for minimum jobs, such as waitressing, retail, and jobs based off commission. So they pay however much they need to complete school. In everyday life, people walk, walk on eggshells throughout their day. If the people were free to make their own choices, why are there law enforcers to regulate rules? The judicial justice to punish criminals. This country gives their people limited choices, but persuades them feel as if they have no limitations on their choices. However, people are afraid of the law, so they tend to limit themselves as well. The higher power, the higher power, the law, intimidate people who have less money or less power. Majority of those who do not have limited choices have a higher power, and in order to have higher power, money is needed. Moral of the story, America manipulates their people in the direction in favor for them. Okay, right, writers, um, as you can tell, there were a couple of spots that I definitely was struggling with figuring out how to read the sentence. Um, so let's pause for a moment, though, and focus on the positives. The intro is pretty bold and it's intriguing. So already beginning with America manipulates people to believe they are free to make their own choices. It's definitely a one of those, you know, pull you in um, sort of introductions. And it makes you want to read more of what the what this student is going to say or what this essay is going to say. Again, another um, positive which stays on this topic is this idea where the student ends where they began. They end with moral of the story, America manipulates their people in the direction in favor for them. But this is where it gets confusing because they say in the direction in favor for them. And I guess it's talking, the student is discussing America, but America is an object or how it's presented, it would be in favor of it. And so there's a little bit of confusion there, but overall, I really like that, you know, the student ended where they began and I cannot emphasize enough how important that is in writing. Because again, if 
I, I think about it like this, when you're watching a play, you know, again, or a TV show, you know, there's this opening of the curtain and the play begins, the story begins. And when the story and the play ends and comes back full circle, it just provides this sense of, of completion, of closure for the reader. And as odd as this may sound, it's very satisfying to feel as if, huh, they ended where they began. And so you just get this sense of satisfaction. And that's a positive for this particular student's writing. Now, they do bring up the topic because they, again, say um, America manipulates people to believe they are free to make their own choices. So obviously, we know the topic has to do with whether or not we have the freedom to make our own choices, which is brought up. And then they use the um, conjunctive adverb right here, however, correctly, and they use the semicolon properly. They just needed to put a space here between the semicolon and however. However, people are obligated and manipulated to make choices they do not agree with, such as in a job, college, and in everyday life. You know, we're still really not clear as far as the, pos the student's position on the topic. Do they agree with it or do they disagree with it? Obviously, if you're being manipulated, that definitely implies that the student is um, understands that we are not free to make our own choices. However, the student should be more clear about that. And I encourage you all as writers, again, if, you're ha if you have an argumentative essay, you want to be as clear as possible with respect to the position you are taking. Do you support the position or are you against the position? And that's not really clear as to how the writer feels in the beginning or at the end of this particular writing. With that said, um, they bring up, uh, you know, that people are obligated and manipulated to make choices they do not agree with, such as in job, in a job, college, and everyday life. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a different color. And so job, we've got this idea of job, college, and everyday life. So when students do this, when a writer does this, the expectation is that you're going to talk about this in your essay and the reader expects you to bring up this idea of jobs, you know, of what happens in the workplace, of what happens in college and in everyday life. So now we go with this, this part here. First example, at a work area, an employee is designated duties to fulfill his or her position, but it's up to them if they want to complete the job or they get laid off, which is a form of limited choices. This country runs off money. People work based on how much income they are given. You pay them more, they do more. So Really, here is where the student offers an example of what they are talking about in the workplace when it comes to a job. So this is, again, offering an example with job. Then we have college. And again, we're expecting that next. As a student in college, in order to graduate with a degree of their choice, the student has to complete a certain number of credits and meet all expectations. Student is left with either one or two choices. Complete all assignments or fail out of school and have a minimum wage job. Majority of the people refuse to settle for minimum jobs such as waitressing, retail, and jobs based off commission, so they pay however much they need to complete school. So in this case, again, this whole section here, I'm just going to make this a slightly different color. This part from here pretty much to here in this section is, again, and right, writer, sorry about the little, you know, uh, running over the words here. But visually, you can sort of see where the student brings up, you know, again, job, check, college, check, and then everyday life. And here they actually state it. They say in everyday life, 
people walk on eggshells throughout their day. If the people were free to make their own choices, why are there law enforcers to regulate rules? The judicial justice to punish criminals. This country gives their people limited choices, but persuades them feel as if they have no limitations on their choices. However, people are afraid of the law, so they tend to limit themselves as well. And so, and then they go into, this is where it got really frustrating and confusing. The higher power, the law intimidate people who have less money or less power. Majority of those who do not have limited choices have a higher power. And in order to have higher power, money is needed. So I'm thinking that this all sort of falls under the everyday life, but we're not really sure. Um, This part is a little bit weak. And this is one of those sections where I go, it would have been a great opportunity where less is more. Um, And so this section, you know, got a little bit confusing, became confusing, especially in this, the higher power, the law, and then they reference higher power multiple times. And that just it, we don't really know who or what the higher power is. And that is confusing. And that actually took away from their essay at the end. So it's kind of a bummer because, you know, the student had started off really pretty good with this job, with the college section, and then they sort of lost it a little bit at the end. If the student had stopped, maybe right here where it says, um, where it says they tend to limit themselves as well and just taken this part completely out, I think that would have been better. And um, again, even this whole section right here, you know, sometimes we, you're scrambling at the end of the essay and you're just writing to write more and add more words and it ends up working against you. And I just want to look at this part here just to see how it sounds. In everyday life, people walk on eggshells throughout their day. If the people were free to make their own choices, why are there law enforcers to regulate rules? The judicial justice to punish criminals. This country gives their people limited choices, but persuades them. And I think they meant to add persuades them to feel as if they have no limited limitations on their choices. However, people are afraid of the law, so they tend to limit themselves as well. Moral of the story, America manipulates their people in the direction in the, in the direction in favor for them. So again, this was one of those where I think if they had eliminated this part, you know, who knows what the score would have been. Maybe it still would have been a four, but they trip up at the end and that really takes away from their writing. For, the, for this particular student. Also, you know, we've got things like judicial justice. So then just say the justice system or the judicial system, but they say judicial justice. Like, you know, they had some run-ons. They have some issues with compound sentences about using a conjunction. And when you use a conjunction, you need to make sure that you, you know, use a comma before the conjunction. But overall, again, I think, you know, this is a strong essay as far as the examples. Um, Granted, they don't really um, give sort of a counter argument. They do not bring up the text evidence that's provided, but their examples are so rich that I understand why they would be right at that middle of the road right at that halfway point of four out of a possible eight. So, you know, students, right, writers, I hope that you're, if anything, what I'm starting to see is really this idea of the importance of starting off and ending where you uh, began, number one, and the importance of very specific examples, that really helps to enhance your essay writing. With that said, right writers, we're going to stop and we're going to go ahead and move to sample essay number two, which also scored a four.
I do want you to know that in this next essay, it is broken up. I just visually saw how it was broken in the right place or guide, and it is broken up into two parts on one page, and then it, it goes to the next page. So I'm sort of, you know, I'm sort of bummed out that, um, again, it's not all on one page. Um, and so you'll have to forgive me here as we uh, move to uh, the next essay. And again, it's on two separate pages. So let's go ahead and go to sample essay number two. Each and every person is able to freely make their own decisions. This is a process that man has been able to do from the very beginning. Without the chance of being able to make free decisions, then as an individual or as a whole, many complications can start to arise. In my life, there has been many choices that have been made, many that were never easy. Apart from day-to-day -day decisions to ones that can impact you, your friends, your family, or just those around you, regardless of who they may be. The decision that one is able to make can have so many outcomes. One day, an individual could help make a work center run more efficiently because they made a decision that would help both themselves and the others around them. On the other hand, that same individual could have just as easily made a completely different choice with a result could end up a lot worse for that one person or someone else. Each and every day, there are men and women that freely choose to put themselves in harm's way. No one has threatened them that they must do this or else. I see on a daily basis that people that go and put on a uniform because they chose to do it. Yes, each person has their own reason for doing what they do. However, each one that does this still does this freely. You may be limited on your choices at a current time, but that could be because of everything going on around you. If we lived in a world ruled with limitations set daily and you could not go outside of what has been set, then I do think that problems would start occurring. The opportunity of free choice is an amazing gift that people either take advantage of and help advance themselves with or throw away with a single bad choice. Either way, we are still free to make our own choices and I think that will stay that way for a little while longer. You know, one of the pluses, and I hope that you're noticing this right, writers, why it's so important to break up essays into paragraphs. This is one of those where it is refreshing to finally see an essay with paragraphs. <laughs> um, you know, it just makes it easier to read. It's, it's not um, hard on the eye, or maybe it's better to say it's much easier on the eye. And when you do that, it's almost like you're enhancing your score a bit by actually make it, making it easier for the person to grade your work. So again, I really appreciate that this is one of the first essays really that we've seen this um, multi-paragraph break. And we're not just reading, you know, one paragraph as, a, as just line after line after line as, as one. So, you know, definitely kudos to this student and, um, you know, for doing that. Big plus. So um, let's talk about their introduction. Again, looking at positives and critiquing as I go along here. So in this section, each and every person is able to freely make their own decisions. So notice how the topic is mentioned about, you know, making decisions. This is a process that man has been able to do from the very beginning without, and we know that should have been one word, without the chance of being able to make free decisions, then as an individual or as a whole, many complications can start to arise. So in this case, um, you know, many complications would arise, could arise, but, you know, we see that they're explaining, um, you know, what would happen if we did not have this opportunity, this ability to have, you know, our own choices or be able to make our own decisions. The only issue is that we're never really clear about the student's position on the topic. 
So it's implied, but it's not directly stated. And then, you know, so with that said, so we don't really understand, again, their position on the topic. And then their last sentence, they talk about many complications can start to arise. So when you're bringing up, you know, when this is your last sentence about complications, what the reader naturally believes or thinks is that the next paragraph is going to talk about complications. And you're setting the reader up for what's next. However, if you let them down and the expectation is sort of switched, it is not necessarily insulting to the reader, but it's sort of like the reader becomes a little bit confused because they thought you were going to go in one direction and then you never go there. So that can cause confusion and we're expecting complications, but we don't really see that. And let's take a look at the next paragraph so you know what I mean. It says, in my life, there has been many choices that have been made many that were never easy. Okay, so here they're sort of, again, they start to, the this sentence does not necessarily talk about the complications as we had hoped, but they do get to it in the second sentence. Many that were never easy. However, the student never gives us that example. We never get the life um, in my life, there has been many choices, like we're getting ready and kind of excited about, wow, I wonder what difficult decision they might've had. And we're expecting that. And it never happens in paragraph two. The student just goes on to say, you know, apart from day-to-day -day decisions, the one that could impact you, your friends, they, they switch from going to sort of first person to you, second person, and then they're vague about it. So the only part where they actually give something specific is that one day an individual could help make a work center run more efficiently because they made a decision that would help both that would help both themselves and the others around them. And then they go, on the other hand, that same individual could have just as easily made a completely different choice with the result could end up a lot worse for that one person or someone else. And so this is really the only part where we get a specific example about a work center, but everything else is just sort of vague and not very specific. In addition, again, we never get this complicated, many decisions that were never easy we never learn what that is. So this paragraph is, is kind of a throwaway to some extent, because again, you bring up a topic that is never, you know, you set us up, you set the reader up for a topic, but the writer never gets there. And so that's um, unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen and then move on to the next paragraph. So paragraph three, and I want to see if their, their transition here works from one paragraph to the next, because here they say, so they begin with, or they end with, on the other hand, that same individual could have just as easily made a completely different choice with the result could end up a lot worse for that one person or someone else. Each and every day, there are men and women that freely choose to put themselves in harm's way. We're sort of expecting that flow and that smooth transition from one paragraph to the next, and it doesn't happen. Instead, they talk about, you know, obviously they're probably referring to, you know, nurses, doctors, EMTs, um, you know, police officers, as far as folks who, you know, individuals who wear uniforms to work. Um, and that's what this paragraph about is about. But again, we're not really seeing that connection between, you know, jumping or moving smoothly from this paragraph to the next. Um, and then it goes on to say no one has threatened them that they must do this or else. 
I see on a daily basis people that go and put on a uniform because they choose chose to do it. Yes, each person has their own reason for doing what they do. However, each one that does this still does this freely. So again, the only really the real thing that we have is that you know, people are putting on a uniform, but we're not really given an example. I mean, they're just sort of saying, you know, they put themselves in harm's way. But to me, this is somewhat vague. Again, I love how easy it is to read because of the paragraph breaks. But if you really look at what they're saying, it's pretty vague and nothing is really specific. So this is sometimes these students kind of fly under the radar and end up with a higher score than I think they probably should have. Um, you know, the writing got a high, received a higher score. And I just, for me, this just isn't, I thought the previous one was much better um, than this one. So even though it was less, you know, there was less to, to score. I, th I thought they did a much better job. I'm going to go ahead and clear this screen and go to the bottom paragraph and see how what they talk about here. And again, this transition of moving from one paragraph to the next. Um, yes, each person has their own reason for doing what they do. However, each one does, each one that does this still does this freely. You may be limited on your choices at a current time, but that could be because of everything going on around you. Okay, the transition between these two isn't too bad. And we know, you know, there's this sense that they're gonna start wrapping up. Um, but again, a little bit, you know, not really like super flowy, um, as far as, you know, again, a smooth flow between one paragraph and the next, then they say that, um, if we lived in a world ruled with limitations and scrolling down here set daily, you couldn't go outside of what has been set then I do think that problems would start occurring. The opportunity of free choice is an amazing gift that people either take advantage of and help advance themselves with or throw away with the single bad choice. Either way, we are still free to make our own choices. And I think that will stay that way for a little while longer. So in this final um, paragraph in the conclusion, the student finally does take a position, um, again, where, uh, they say, I do think that problems would start occurring and either way, we are still free to make our own choices. And I think that will stay that way for a little while longer. So they do finally take a position on that. They appreciate having the freedom to make choices, but again, it's a little bit vague. It's not bold and specific. And so, again, I, I sort of take issue with that. In addition, um, I think, you know, in going back from the beginning to the end, um, without the chance of being able to make free decisions, then as an individual or as a whole, many complications can arise. Each and every person is able to freely make their own decisions. This is a process that man has been able to do from the very beginning. I wish they had come full circle in the last paragraph and they really don't do that. Um, I mean, they bring up the opportunity of free choice. You know, if they had brought up the free choice in the first paragraph in their introduction, I think that would have definitely um, improved their essay. But, you know, we don't really see that. So the student in this essay also had, had some spelling issues, for sure, and some capitalization issues. Um, overall, Again, I'm really surprised that they scored a four. I think part of it had to do with the page breaks or the paragraph breaks. I think part of it had to do with how much writing they did. Um, they did bring up the topic. They never used any of the provided text evidence, which is unfortunate. And they never really give solid, specific examples it's a bit vague other than, again, putting on a uniform and being in harm's way. And again, that expectation of they many times the student makes it seem as if they're going to go somewhere, but they never go there. So again, that to me is unsatisfactory when you're reading an essay like that. 
And um, I would definitely think the first sample essay did a better job um, as far as the writing is concerned. Um, but again, positive takeaways on this one, right, writers, paragraph breaks really help, really help you. Um, and it helps the reader. And I think it ultimately um, ended up maybe even helping this student um, and their score. All right, right, writers, I hope this um, exercise was useful to you and that it helps you improve your own writing as you move forward and set yourself up for success on this Accuplacer Right Placer essay. Thank you so much for watching this video. They're getting longer because the essays are getting longer, which means there's more critiquing to be made. So take care, right writers. Bye-bye.